Here's a beautiful equation that pits two of mathematics' most famous constants against each other. We have e to the power of x plus pi equals pi to the power of x plus e. It looks intimidating at first, but as we'll see, there's a surprisingly elegant solution hiding within. Our goal is to find all real values of x that satisfy this equation. We start with our original equation. The main challenge here is that our variable x is stuck up in the exponents. Before we proceed, let's confirm that what we're about to do is valid. Since the bases e and pi are both positive, both sides of the equation are strictly positive for all real values of x. This means taking the logarithm will be a valid step that preserves the equation without introducing any extraneous solutions. With that confirmed, we can take the natural logarithm of both sides. This will bring the variables down from the exponents where we can actually work with them. Applying the natural logarithm to both sides gives us this. Now we'll use a key property of logarithms called the power rule. It states that the logarithm of a to the power of b is equal to b times the logarithm of a. Applying this rule brings the exponents down as coefficients, giving us something much more manageable to work with. Now for a crucial simplification. The natural logarithm of e is, by definition, exactly 1. So the left side simplifies nicely to just x plus pi. On the right side, our next step is to distribute the natural logarithm of pi across the terms in the parentheses. Doing so gives us x times the natural logarithm of pi plus e times the natural logarithm of pi. Our goal is to isolate x. Let's begin by moving all terms containing x to the left side. We'll subtract x times the natural logarithm of pi from both sides. This groups our x terms together on the left. Next, let's move all the constant terms to the right side. We'll subtract pi from both sides. Now the equation is nicely sorted with variables on the left and constants on the right. On the left side, notice that x is a common factor. Factoring out x leaves us with x times the quantity 1 minus the natural logarithm of pi. At this point, we have an equation of the form a times x equals b. This is just a linear equation. Since pi is approximately 3.1416, its natural logarithm is approximately 1.1447, which is greater than 1. Therefore, the coefficient of x is negative, and most importantly, not zero. A linear equation a times x equals b, with a not equal to zero, has exactly one unique solution. This proves our result will be unique. Now, let's determine the final form of our solution. Starting from our factored form, we can now solve for x by dividing both sides. This gives us the exact solution. This form is completely correct, but we can make it look a bit nicer. Notice that the denominator is negative. By multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by negative 1, we can write an equivalent fraction with a positive denominator. This gives us a cleaner form for our unique solution. Numerically, this value is approximately 0 0.2065. Let's visually confirm this solution. We'll plot the functions from the left and right sides of the original equation. The intersection point's x-coordinate should match our solution. In blue, we have y equals e to the power of x plus pi. In green, we have y equals pi to the power of x plus e. The graphs intersect at exactly one point, visually confirming the unique solution we proved algebraically. The x-coordinate of this point matches our exact solution perfectly, a beautiful confirmation of our work. Thanks for watching.
If you enjoyed exploring this elegant solution, consider liking and subscribing for more mathematical insights.